Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Wiss and Flickerls. And I'm going to stamp some snowmen. I've started off with Neltique's Formula 2. And here is Square Hue's Whisk. And we're going to go in with our first coat of this one. It probably could have been a one-coater, but, you know, I always do, too. Um, this one is that metallic, frosty, silvery blue. It looked so icy, and I really wanted to use it for a winter, winter manicure. So that's what we're going to do today. Now this one was a little bit brush strokey, but I felt that as it dried down and with the top coat, it kind of made the streakiness kind of go away. It wasn't too bad. And here we go with the second coat of Whisk. Now you can see I've dinged up my little pinky nail, but it's going to be okay. I just kind of put a little acetone on my finger and tapped it down, kind of flattened it out a little bit. And I'm going to put a, you know, another coat of Whisk on it, and we're going to do some more stuff to it so it'll make that boo-boo kind of disappear. And here is Square Hughes's Fluckerls. I guess that's how it's pronounced. And it's kind of base heavy. It's kind of thick. And I noticed as I applied it, I was really expecting this to look icy and beautiful. But as I applied it, it kind of made it look kind of crackly. And I guess it was just because of the thick base that, you know, it just kind of got, I don't know, it just didn't look good to me anymore. Uh, it looks so much prettier in my head, <laughs> as many things do. But, you know, I went ahead and rolled with it. I ended up um, topping it with this Fleckerls, and then I put some, you know, regular top coat on it, of course. And it just, it kind of, you know how when you use foils, it gets that crackly kind of look to it? I think that's what happened with this. So I'm going in with Woody, and I'm trying to clean up my edges and tap down one of those glitters that's standing up. Here we go. Like I promised, we're going to top this one off with some shiny top coat. And today I'm using Posh. And I'm just trying to, you know, apply a nice even. And I was really hoping that, you know, this would kind of help smooth everything out and not give it that crunchy look. But it didn't take the crunchy look away from me. It still looked crackled and kind of bumpy. But today I'm going to be stamping with Beauty Big Bang 13. This is from their Christmas plates. And I'll be using this bright blue stamping polish from Born Pretty. And my knockoff stamper. <laughs> and my clear jelly scraper. That's that stamper that I got from either Born Pretty or AliExpress. It's like the big bling from the real, real clear jelly stamper. And it seems to work pretty good, so been playing with it here lately. I'm just stamping these little snowmen over it. I was really kind of going for a frosty winter look. I believe that, you know, it turned out overall, it turned out pretty good. I was um, really surprised that the base didn't end up looking the way I wanted it to, but we don't always get what we see in our heads. Um, I guess I ended up liking this manicure well enough, though, because I wore it for five straight days. Part of it was due to being busy, but Part of it was that I could stand to wear it for five days. So I guess that's pretty good. I really do like this cute little image with the snowman and all the snowflakes. It's wintry, but not Christmassy. So, you know, it worked for me. And see, look, now that ding in my pinky nail. Can't even see it. <laughs> the magic of nail art. Good stuff. So I am cleaning my plate and my scraper off with some pure acetone and a cotton cotton ball. Here we go with the cleanup around my skin with some tape. So you can really see it good on that thumb that I haven't stamped yet. It just looks bumpy and cracked looking, which I guess is okay for winter, you know, cracked ice, you know. And here we go. We're going to clean up with some acetone and a cleanup brush real quick. Move it out of the way so I don't knock it over. Like I said, overall, I, I guess I like this one pretty well. <laughs> I wore it for five days, which m some manicures I really like don't make it that long. So, good stuff, I suppose. We're going to seal this stamping in with some posh top coat. And I guess technically this was my... um. <laughs> New Year's manicure. I just, time got away from me and I didn't get time to do a New Year's manicure this year. So, 
guess this one worked because it was very, very frigid here for the new year. For New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, it was quite chilly. And I didn't come up with any New Year's resolutions, but if you made any, I would like to hear about them. You can leave me a comment down below. I always love chatting with you. I'd love to hear what you think about this manicure too, so let me know about that. I always, always look forward to the critiquing of it. But overall, pretty good. Here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.